Hey everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Lifestyle. My name is Krista and it is so good to be with you guys today. Hey, so I have a word of encouragement from the Lord to you guys and I just wanna share that with you. But before I do, I wanna make a quick announcement. If you have not booked your one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me yet, I will link everything down below. Please do that today. We are just seeing God move in such a big way. He's ministering to people. We are seeing captives set free. We are just, just seeing such amazing transformations happening. And so if you've not done that yet, please do that today. And again, I will link that information down below. Um, so the word for today, I just feel like God is really just encouraging his people, the remnant, the chosen ones, right? Um, so right now we are close to an election that can change absolutely everything. We all have just a lot going on, but there's a lot of things that are just stirred up spiritually. So many of you are on the brink of this massive breakthrough, right? And the enemy has planted so many things in your path, like in your wilderness season to keep you stunted and to keep you held back. But God is saying that is over that time is over and now you are being catapulted forward and the thing to remember in this season um, when god is setting you free from the bondage of the wilderness is to just move forward and don't look back so that is the takeaway because the things that god has planned for you you have to keep your eyes fixed on him that is the key you have to keep looking at him and you have to be forward thinking you have to think don't look at your circumstances for what they are today because what they are today is not what they're going to be tomorrow god has put you on the fast track okay he is fast tracking you ahead and so you have to look at that now, do you know exactly what that looks like? No, but you also know at this point, if you are the remnant, you know that when God decides to change things, that they just are completely unrecognizable and that they can they change so fast and that whenever he pours his blessings out on you, they're so above and beyond anything you can think or imagine. So keep that in mind. And so the ones of you that have been walking through this, you're the ones who you built your foundation, your house on Jesus Christ. You built it on the solid rock and your house has stood. There's not a lot of people who their houses have truly stood through everything we've gone through in the last four years for sure. And even beyond that, you know, far beyond that. But it's when your house has been built on Jesus and every the work of your hands is not in flesh it's through the spirit and so your work it has stood the test of time it is still standing today it is true it's been refined through fire it has been tested and it has been found approved and worthy so congratulations on that you've passed your tests and you are coming out of that wilderness you are coming out of those those cycles and those patterns that kept you bound that kept you from speaking out it kept you from complete making plans and executing them because you knew that there were going to be things you wouldn't be able that were going to be holding you back and that time is over it's completely done the lord has stepped in and he has said no more and all it takes is one word from the lord to change everything and that's all that that took was one word from the Lord and it changed everything for you. So I wanted to share with you some scripture real quick. And I felt like God was wanting me to share. Um, I've actually shared this with a few people in my coaching sessions. And so it's just, um, it's it's uh, First Thessalonians 5, uh, 24. And it said, God will make this happen for he who calls you is faithful. And then I was led this morning also to this, um, which is also something I've been talking about a lot lately, but it's Isaiah 55, 8, and it's my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so, so my ways are higher than your ways. And so my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. The rain and the snow come from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. 
And I love this because what I was really taking from it is one that above and beyond anything we can think or imagine, that's what this is. God's thoughts and his ways are so much higher. If you try to predict where he's taking you in the next few months, you will likely be wrong because you can't track where he's going. You can't, you know, it's good. You know, you want to go and you know, you got to be obedient and you got to keep your eyes on him. And that's all you have to do. Let the blessings be up to him. Let him determine your your reward for being faithful, for standing, for continuing to war and contend for your blessings and contend for your family and contend for healing and all of those things. Let him decide how he's going to reward you openly because he's about to. And then I love this because, you know, talking about the rain and the snow coming, you know, how many times is there like a snowstorm and it takes the lights out, you know, it takes your power out for three days and it just seems absolutely awful. But it's like, there is a reason for everything. And when that snow comes, sometimes it's just beautiful and peaceful, but sometimes it's kind of intense and it causes damage, but it's for a purpose. It's to water the ground. It's so the seeds will come. It's so the farmers will prosper. So there's bread to eat. You know what I mean? Like there's a reason for everything. And it doesn't mean that while it's getting to that beautiful part, that there isn't difficult parts that come with it. It doesn't mean that the enemy doesn't try to take certain parts of that and cause damage and cause perversion and try to make it to where it looks it looks so dark that you lose hope and you take your eyes off of Jesus and you start putting them somewhere else and you get distracted. This is just the Lord is speaking you to you today to encourage you that he is for you and that he, the one who calls you is faithful and he's going to do it. He keeps showing me that. He, that scripture keeps coming to me. It keeps getting shown to me. Like that is what he is saying. And right now there's a, there's pressure. There's, there's financial pressure. There's relationship pressure. There's a lot of things that are coming against God's people right now to try to make them think he's not faithful and he's not gonna do it. And so I just challenge you today just to recite that scripture, stand on his word, declare that, put your hands up and just say, Lord, I'm putting my eyes on you. Keep my eyes fixed on you. Help me to, to see things the way you want me to see them, Lord. You know, and just, Pray, pray without ceasing, but stand on his word because he's bigger than everything that's trying to hold you back. He is bigger than all of it. And he is for you and he wants the absolute best for you. Things you can't even imagine is what he has for you right around the corner, right around the corner. Like that, everything changes. So I just wanted to encourage you guys in that today. You know, if you are just facing a lot of stuff, you are not alone and God is for you and he is with you and he's working every bit of this out. So I just encourage you with that word. I bless you all. Check out the link below. Come and join me in my one-on-one -on -one sessions. I'm excited to minister to you in any, in any way that the Lord will have me do. And I'm so blessed to be able to do what I'm doing right now. I absolutely love all of you. I love getting to know the people that these videos are going out to. It is absolutely life-changing. Um, it's an amazing experience and I'm just so thankful to be a part of it. And I feel very honored that God has called me to it. So bless you all. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.